All right, welcome back to the Code Wolf. I just wanted to create a short video today to highlight this cool new app from Olama. So they now offer this sort of desktop UI experience with Olama. If you've worked with this tool in the past, you'll know that it was primarily a CLI based tool. So you just kind of enter in commands to run AI models locally and you could connect to those through your code and it was really cool. But there was never sort of a GUI or UI to work with uh, to explore your models and actually talk to Olama directly. So that's all changed now with this new app. So if we go out to their site and click on that link, you can see they've got some basic information about this. And I do wanna say that this app is very bare bones or simplistic. It's kind of like a scaled down version of something like Copilot or LLM Studio or something like that. But it is really cool that it all runs locally and I'm sure this will expand in the future. So I kinda wanna just show you what this has to offer right now. So on olama.com, you're just gonna hit download and it's a really simple install like any other programs. So I'm not going to walk through that part. I already have this installed. So when that finishes, it'll look something like this. And so we have a chat box here and out of the box, it recommends several different models here. And Gemma 3 is a multimodal model. So that's kind of nice for this UI experience. So it can accept images and PDFs and code as we'll see in a second. But you can also search for and download your own model. So I'm a fan of the Phi models, so like the Phi 4. And if we click download and then I say hello, uh, that's going to start pulling down that model. So you can see that that's 8 gigabytes. I'm just going to stop that because I'm going to use the Gemma model for this demo. But just to show you that you can just kind of enter in a name and pull down whatever model you want, which is pretty cool. So I already have the Gemma model downloaded. So I'll just say hi again and it's gonna think, and there it goes. So now we have this chat-like experience like we'd see with something like Copilot. Now you do have a couple options in this UI. For example, if we go over to settings, there's a basic network option for whether other devices should be able to see this. You can also set where the models that you download are stored. But the most important one is gonna be this context length. So if you've worked with Olama in the past, you might know that by default with the CLI setup, it had a fairly small context window but that was configurable and you can now change it through the UI here. So when you install it, it's gonna to default to four. And I just bumped that up to 64. Uh, this is plenty big for anything that I would use this tool for. And I have a pretty powerful computer here, so this should work just fine. So if we go back to Olama, let's look at a couple demos of what this can actually do. So first let's look at this product manual PDF. This is just a sample doc that I downloaded. So I'm going to drop that into our chat and I'm going to say, summarize this PDF for me. And right away, it's going to start cranking through this. So it says that this PDF is a user manual for the PowerBeam solar powered charger. And it gives us some key sections and points and so on. And it's basically a simplified version of this doc. And then it asks if it should elaborate on anything. So I'll say, uh, can you elaborate? on the getting started section. And then it starts to go into more detail. Now this PDF isn't actually that long. So if I open this up, um, it's just a few pages. So it was able to crank through this pretty easily, but this is the correct information that it's uh, telling us here. And it's giving us those more detailed getting started uh, breakdown instructions here. So that's pretty cool. If you're working with documents, you can drop them in here and get help from an AI assistant right on your local computer without having to pay for a co-pilot or use a cloud subscription or anything like that. So let's look at a couple other examples. My favorite one is its ability to digest code files. So I'll drop in this code file. This is actually from another video on my channel about using Sora AI on Azure to generate videos. But now we'll analyze that Python script over here in our Olama UI. So I could say something like uh, summarize what this file does and then generate a readme. And this actually runs really fast, uh, but it gives us a summary first. So, so it's telling us that initializes some environment variables, creates the video job in Azure, pulls for status to see if it's completed and so on. And I wrote this file, so I know this is correct. Uh, this is actually pretty impressive. That it's able to do this this quickly locally. And it, now here's the readme that it puts together. So it has installation, environment variables, and so on. So this is nothing revolutionary in the world of AI. But it's just cool that we now have this UI to work with Olama and we have another option for a fully local experience that doesn't require a cloud service or a subscription or anything like that. And so for this last example, I like to include game content on my channel. So this is a YouTube thumbnail about a Super Metroid remake. 
And it looks like we actually get this error that this model doesn't support images. So I'm using Gemma 3.1b. So just to show you how these different models can do different things, I'll switch over to 12b. I believe this is referring to the number of parameters. So this is 1 billion, 4 billion, 12 billion. So I do have a more powerful one downloaded. So I'll switch over to that and then drop in our picture again. And I'll say, uh, tell me about this image. And so it's going to think about it for a minute. It's analyzing our picture here. And so it does give us an accurate summary where it says this is sparking a conversation about whether the Super Metroid Classic needs a remake. And it's talking about uh, iconic imagery and a direct question. And then in the foreground, it actually identified characters, which is pretty cool. So it identified Samus, the Super NES console, a controller, and it even provides some aesthetic information about the colors and the text and so on. So I think this is pretty cool. Obviously, this is really basic experience right now, but I encourage you to go out there and try it and have some fun with it. Please consider hitting those subscribe and like buttons if you enjoyed this video or found it useful, or if you just want to stay up to date with more cloud coding and AI content. Thanks again.